I don't know how much I will be able to edit this video down and it's probably going to be a lot shorter than it took me to record this. Hi, I'm Anne. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be going through my entire physical TBR. I did a video like this a little bit ago. And if you watched the last video on my channel, you will know that my big challenge for 2023 is to read all the books on my physical TBR. That is my goal. I'm sure it's going to go horribly wrong, but that is going to be my challenge. Um, but I thought it would be nice to introduce you to all the books that I have on, on my physical TBR. Many of these were featured in my physical my last physical TBR video. However, quite a few of these are new, whether I got them as gifts or I got them for research or random reasons that I have them now. So um, let's just go in. I will not be going into detail into any of these books. The Late Middle Ages, 1272 to 1485 by George Holmes. The History of England by W. E. Lunt. The Medieval World by Frederick Heer. Witchcraft in England by Christina Hull. Arthur's Britain by Leslie Alcock. Shadow Walker, The Beginning by Marion David Russell. This is an indie book. The Fairy Queen by Edmund Smesser. Ivanhoe by Walter Scott. Tibetan Book of the Dead. Ripper by Stephen Petrusha. Think a Second Time by Dennis Prager. Thus Spoke the Sustra. The Sustra. <laughs> Thus Spoke Zarathustra by Friedrich Nietzsche. Holy Sex, The Catholic Guide to co turling Mind-blowing, infallible, infallible loving by Gregory K. Popkak. This is Your Mind on Plants by Michael Pollan. The Oxford Book of English Detective Stories. Plato, Epictetus, and Marcus Aurelius. The History of Russia by George Vernansky. The Rising Sun, The Decline and Fall of the Japanese Empire, 1936 to 1945 by John Tolland. The Chances of Death and Other Studies in Evolution by Carl Pearson. The Republic of Plato, Beyond Order by Jordan B. Peterson. The Mask of Apollo by Mary Renault. The Rituals of Dinner, The Origin, Evolution, Eccentricities, and Meaning of Table Manners by Margaret Visser. My Grandfather's Son by Clarence Thomas. Beyond Good and Evil by Friedrich Nietzsche. Tales of Norse Mythology. The Total Money Makeover by David Ramsey. The Divine Comedies, Parts 2, Purgatory, and 3, Paradise by Dante. The Golden Treasury of Best Songs and Lyrical Poems, Thrones and Dominions by Dorothy L. Sayers and Jill Patton Walsh. Murder Must Advertise by Dorothy L. Sayers. An Outline of Russian Literature by Mark Slolin. The Afternoon Tea Book by Michael Smith. Introduction to the Devout Life by Francis de Sales. The Great Seraph by John Steinbeck. The Lives of the Caesars by Suetonius. Sense of Sensibility and Sea Monsters by Jane Austen and Ben H. Winters. A Student's History of English Literature by W.E. Simmons. Victorian Poets by Edmund Stedman. Life is Worth Living by Fulton J. Sheen. The Omnibus of Crime edited by Dorothy L. Sayers. The Search for Modern China by Jonathan D. Spence. The White House Cookbook. The Complete Works of Shakespeare, Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut, Autobiography of Yogi, Tang Dynasty Stories, Tales of the Shaolin Monastery, The Peloponnesian War by Thucydides. Ugh. Loki is attacking the camera, so if you see like this, that is his fault. Okay, I just want to point that out. The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. Men of Iron by Howard Pyle. Common Sense, The Rights of Man, and Other Essential Writings of Thomas Paine. Utopia by Sir Thomas More, or St. Thomas More, depending if you're Catholic. The Pride of Palomar by Peter B. Kine. Critique of Pure Reason by Immanuel Kant. The Overcoming Life by D.L. Moody. The Miser and Other Plays by Moliere. Dwight L. Moody, The Man and His Mission. Christian Cosmo, sex, The Sex Talk You Never Had by Felicia Masonheimer. The Betrothed by Alessandro Mazzoni. Nicholas and Alexandra by Robert K. Massey. Shanghai Grand by Terrace Gresco. China and Me by Emily Han. A Man Named John, The Life of Pope John the Thirteenth by Aidan Hotch. The Complete Short Stories by Ernest Hemingway. Lost by Gregory Maguire. The New Classic Chinese Cookbook. The Complete Collection of H.P. Lovecraft. John Adams by David McConnell. Inside Asia by John Gunther. Tutankhamen, The Untold Story by Thomas Hoving. 
The Souls of China, The Return of Religion After Mao by Ian Johnson. Quotations from the chairman Mao Zedong. The Moral Law by H.J. Patton. The Nature of the Universe by Lucretius. Of Human Bondage by W. Somerset Marr. Dune by Frank Herbert. The Sound and the Fury by William Faulkner. The Origins of Oriental Civilization by Water A. Fair Service. Pickwick Papers by Charles Dickens. A Man from Earth by Gordon R. Dixon. Space Paw by Gordon R. Dixon. The Short Works of Fedor Dostoevsky. Descartes. Philosophical Essays, The Habsburg of Vienna, The Tales of Greek Heroes by Roger Lancelin Green, The Doors of Perception in Heaven Hell by Aldous Huxley, Classical Myths by Hertzberg, The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse by Vicente Blasco Ibanez, The Original Fanny Farm 1896 Cookbook, Chronicles by Jean Forsert, The Black Stallion by Walter Farley, Follow My Lead by James B. Garfield, The Foresight Saga by John Galsworthy. The Complete Fairy Tales of the Brothers Grimm, Great Sea Stories, The Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett, Lost Science, Astonishing Tales of Forgotten Genius by Kitty Ferguson, Crusade in Europe by Dwight D. Eisenhower, Badalino by Umberto Eco, The Complete Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Yankee from Olympus, Oliver Wendell Holmes by Catherine Drinker Bowen, The Bhagavad Gita as it is, Memesis, Memesis by Idrik Orbach, the Last Unicorn by Peter S. Beagle. The Complete Essays of Sir Francis Bacon. From Genesis to Revelation by Mildred Berry. A Book of Modern Short Stories. John Adams and the American Revolution by Catherine Drinker Bowen. The Blind Assassin by Margaret, Ad Margaret Atwood. Colonial Williamsburg. G.K. Chesterton Collected Works. The Illustrated London News 1932 by to 1934. Wilkie Collins' The Moonstone. The Little Princesses by Marion Crawford. The Stand-In by Lily Chu. The Plague by Albert Camus. Melissa by Taylor Caldwell. Caldwell? Deerslayer by James Fenmore Cooper. Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell by Susanna Clark. Going to the Sources, A Guide to Historical Research and Writing. Pavilion of Women by Pearl S. Buck. An Introduction to Philosophy Through Literature. Chinese Civilization, A Source Book. Classical Mythology B. The Classical Mythology by H. A. Gerber. Chilling Horror Short Stories. The Clan of the Cave Bear by Jean M. All. The Ultimate Hitchhiker's Guide by Douglas Adams. American Gothic Short Stories. Great Ages of Man. Cradles of Civil Cradle of Civilization. Age of Exploration. Ancient Egypt. Ancient China. Ancient America. And the two I am currently reading are Judge D at Work by Robert Van Gulick, and Imitation of Christ by Thomas A. Kempis. Whew. I don't know how much I will be able to edit this video down, and it's probably going to be a lot shorter than it took me to record this, but those are all the books that I am hoping to read in 2023. I'm hoping to read a, at least a few in the next couple months before uh, the beginning of 2023, so then maybe I can have a more leeway of how many books I can read extra, but I'm curious, have you read any of these books? I know it's quite an interesting variety of books. You know, I have some like popular modern fiction. I have some classics. I have some history nonfiction. I have some very vague, like lesser known books. I have some indie authors. So I'm all over the place when it comes to the books that I've collected over the last, you know, five to 10 years. Um, and some of these have been on my physical TBR for five to 10 years. So it'd be nice to get them all off. But I'm curious to know what do you think of all these books behind me? Have you read any of them? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, like subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.